in uh, one moment, sometimes, we can change things for generations, for centuries. One of these moments started in Oregon, so west coast, the cradle of US athletics, at the beginning of the 60s, with this guy. This guy had a dream. The dream was to be on track and field. Actually, he was physically gifted, like 1 meter 90 tall, so all right, but he was a little bit awkward and uncoordinated. But of course, he started with a high jump. His teachers would uh, teach him the normal used technique, like this one, you know, with the belly down, the belly roll, it was called, or straddle. Soviet athlete Valery Brumer won with this technique the Olympic Games in 1962 with a jump of 2 meters 27. All right. But our guy was not that good. He used to jump 1 meter 60. He really wanted to play also with friends to jump over armchairs, and once he broke his elbow. So you can imagine. And so what happened, that his friends would mock him and invent this kind of a pun, words, play, with the word flop, which means both dive, jump, and also unsuccess. But the guy was determined not to quit. He knew he had to change something. And as by the time he had enrolled into the engineering uh, faculty in university, he started to scientifically study the parabola of the belly roll. And then he started to observe his jumps, and he realized that he, if he wanted to jump higher, he had to raise his hips. But when he raised his hip, what happened? That the direction of the jump would not be forward, but backward. So he understood he had to exploit the, the, the force of the jump by changing something in the direction of the jump. And so he came to this parabola, a completely new, a turn. The first time he jumped, he got 40 centimeters more over the bar. And so he kept on practicing and practicing and practicing. But this guy was his coach, he told him, Listen, you are already poor. Please give up with these strange ideas. Otherwise, you'll be soon out of high jump. But the guy didn't give up. And what happened? That he qualified for Mexico 68, the, the, this troubled edition of the Olympic Games. So the competition starts. The guy makes the run up. Can you imagine the crowd? He was making a completely different ellipse. So the crowd would say, oh my god, what is this guy doing? Is he drunk or is he crazy? What's happening? He jumped, belly upwards, face to the sky, and the wonderful feeling of air between his back and the bar. When he landed on the mattress, the the stadium was filled with a roar. He himself, he couldn't believe it. He had made it. Yes, he had made it. He won the golden medal. Yes, true. But you know, the coach, yes, always the coach of the US team discouraged everybody from imitating that jump. You know, it was a crazy thing. But history has changed already. It was too late. And so, by now, I guess you know what the name of this guy is, right? Fosbury, yes, Dick Fosbury.